There's something in my collection, but what is it? Any ideas? Well, let's open up the sea. Oh, yes, it's one of those. What a clever idea. What a nice name, too. It's a corkscrew. It's one of those very, very strong plastics, almost like metal, and you twist it in. But it folds very nicely, and I do like that jokey name to say it's um, a thirst aid kit. That's nice. So I have got a few of these. I'll show you just a couple of these folding ones. I've got lots more. I think I'm going to start searching for them. Um, but I've also got a couple of joke ones to show you and, and just a couple which I use. This is a very, very nice uh, folding one. Look at that. That's such a nice, comfortable thing to feel in the hand and to put in your pocket with no trouble at all. And it's so it's got nice, nice rounded edges and it opens it into a sharp corkscrew. So it's got to be protected from the pocket. And all you do is turn it for a right angle and twitch a bit on if I can get it in, is it? And that's now a working corkscrew. We'll go into a bottle and turn it, turn it, turn it. But that's a very nice design and a lovely feel to it. It just flips like sideways. It's so clever, that. It's such a nice feel to it. Uh, and in that in the pockets, that's a, that's a very, very nice traveling corkscrew. So two travelers. I've got ones which are sensible ones. Now, this one, I have to say, I, I, I don't put it in my toy collection. It's in my kitchen drawer, which I'm using all the time. You probably come across it. It's quite clever because you put it on the bottle and, and you wind this first bit in, dum, 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 and eventually it holds the cork. And then you turn this one and that's got a nice big, large wooden screw thread which lifts it up, which is a very tough idea. So it's two lots of winding. Wind in the metal, uh, the, the, the metal spiral and wind out on another spiral which lifts the cork. That's a very nice one. So I, I use that quite regularly when I'm opening bottles. There's another one which is superb, which I've just never used, but it's probably the best one I've ever made. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's in use in the bottle. If you come across those, it's very, very clever indeed. And the idea is, I think you put this, you clasp that round the bottle like that, and then you wind that downwards. As you do it, you're winding it. Notice, notice this thing is, is turning around and around and around. It's actually, it's actually um, got a spiral groove here, which forces it to turn around. And then you lift it out and it lifts, it, the whole thing lifts up like that. I'm not sure how you stop this from turning the other way, actually. I tried it just now, it turned the other way, but you un, it, 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 um, it, it ungears itself and, and lifts straight out like that. I've never used it, but it's probably the best designed of the uh, corkscrews I've ever come across. And it's even got things like a little thing for cutting the metal foil around it and other bits and pieces added to it. The more fun ones, which I enjoy, are the... Um, or the jokey ones, and there's a lovely example of one. I've had this say ages and ages, and I finally got round to trying to make it work. That was last night. So let's have a go in a bottle, just for just for. It may it may not perform, but it's. I'm so keen to actually try it for real. I was making it um, for ages and ages. It's a joke one, and you don't tell people it's a joke. You let them do that, and then when they lift the thing out, it goes. Whew, it works. <laughs> Well, what's it got in it? It's got um, a screw one side, which when you undo it, it gives you access to the tiny little, um, these things here. These are little little caps. You probably come across them. There's a little little firework cap, so you go and cap guns. And the other end's got a plunger, which is now forced itself across. But when it's pulled back again, this will go all the way back in again. And as you pull that down, it releases the plunger. It hits the, well, what a lovely idea, isn't it? Good one. And the last one is something which I would call an inaccessible corkscrew. You can see it's a corkscrew. You can hold it outside, but you can't get at it because it's one of Frank Potts's nonsense. Bit of fun, this. <laughs> well, it does say, in an emergency, break the glass, but oh goodness, I wouldn't want to do that. What you're supposed to do really with it is work out how on earth he got that in there. It's got to be very clever as well, but for this purpose, it's a, it's a joke one. Of the two jokes, I have to say I prefer this because when you've enjoyed the joke there, you still can't use it. With this one, now I've fired it, I can now actually perform with that and genuinely open a few more bottles of wine, I think. That's nice, isn't it? So, have a, have a look through your cupboard and see if you can find something that can be turned into a jokey corkscrew. So, it's fun. <laughs>